Hi, Matterhub family. I'm gonna start sending you weekly building challenges to make sure that your brain is still working while you're home. Um, today's building challenge is going to be a basketball hoop. I usually like to do the basketball challenge during March because of March Madness. Unfortunately, there's no March Madness this year, but we can make our own basketball tournaments at home. Uh, to do this challenge, I'm trying to find activities that you can do with items you'd find around your house. So you need one paper plate, two cups that you can cut, so not like a real one, uh, a paper towel roll, and a piece of paper, and some tape. All right, so hopefully things that you have around your house, if you don't have these items, you can find another way to do it or different materials to use that are similar shape and size to these ones. Now the first thing I like to do is decorate your paper plate. This is going to be our backboard for our hoop. Now, I don't want this video to go for too long, so I'm just going to do my quick uh, backboard for you, but you can decorate it how you want. All right, so right now this is just a quick one. I decorated mine saying the Mattahan Owls. I have a basketball and a little chemistry beaker just because that's something I like. You can decorate it however you want. So for, for right now, I'm keeping it simple. Uh, next, what you wanna do. Now this is something you might wanna ask an adult for help. If I was with you at school, I would definitely be doing this part for you. Um, so if you can't do it by yourself, definitely ask an adult or an older sibling for help. Um, we need to cut part of the cup or the rim um, so that the ball can go through when we throw it. So I'm gonna start by pinching the cup to make a little slit in it. And once I do that, you can stick the scissors in and just cut all the way around. Because so when you throw the basketball, you want it to be able to fall down to the bottom. Ooh, my cutting skills are not on par today. Ah, okay, it's good enough as long as the ball can go through. Okay, um, and again, I decorated mine because I had a lot of time on my hands. You can decorate yours however you want. Hopefully, you have a plain cup at home so you don't have all these weird little designs on it, and it might look better. But whatever you can find works. Now to put these two together. All you need is a piece of tape. Now this is hard part two. So again, if you need help, you can ask an adult. If at any point I'm going too fast, you can stop, pause the video, rewind. Um, I just wanna make sure this isn't too long for you guys. Now you're going to stick the tape inside the cup as best you can against the back square. And you see how I just pressed it down on one side and now I'm gonna go around to the other side and make sure it's attached on the back as well. It's okay if it's not perfect, as long as it's gonna be attached so that we have the ball is able to come through the bottom of it. <sighs> okay, <laughs> next. Okay, the next step is the, toilet, uh, the paper towel roll. And if you don't have this at home, you can take two toilet paper rolls and tape them together, or even just keep it small and do one if you want to. Um, now we have to tape this to the backboard. And now this is our stand. This is what's gonna hold up our basketball hoop. And to make sure that this is a fun game, you need to make sure that it's really stable. So your basketball hoop shouldn't tilt or fall over. It needs to be able to stand up straight. Um, so you're gonna take the tape and you're gonna put it on the back of the paper towel roll. I like to do that part first so I know that it's aligned where it needs to be, just right at the top. And then you're gonna stick it right at the middle of the plate. And again, I'm gonna press down on both sides to make sure that it's attached. Now that's almost done. But now if you look, it's a little top heavy. It's not gonna stand up straight and we need, like I said, a stable structure so it won't fall over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the second cup. Now, again, ask your parents if you need help. I'm just going to take my scissors and poke a hole in the bottom part. And then I'm just going to try my best to cut out that little circle. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as the paper towel roll can fit through. Okay. And then you can just stick the paper towel roll through it and it'll stand up. Um, no, this is just a, well, it's very boring comparatively. Um, and now the last part, what you need to do is to make the ball. And now I have an orange piece of paper. If you don't have an orange piece of paper, you can use any color, or you can get a plain white one and color it with markers, whatever color you want. And now this is the fun part. You literally just squish it up into a ball. 
use your frustration, get everything out, practice your muscles, strong arm muscles, and that's it. You just make it into a ball and you get another piece of tape and you just tape it down so that it goes right into the ball shape and there's no weird edges sticking out. If there is, just get another piece of tape and tape it down. And that's it. You have a basketball hoop and now your basketball. And you can shoot. Now once you have your basketball and your basketball hoop, you're ready to play. So you can challenge your family to shooting contests or it's just an activity to keep you busy um, when you have not much else to do. I hope you enjoyed this weekly building challenge. Um, good luck and I'll see you again next week.